Hi friends, welcome to the Legion Raid short guide series featuring Bro Shaza. This guide is a compact version of the detailed guide. Feel free to watch the detailed guide series to learn additional information. This video will cover gate 1 through 4. Gate 1. At the start, groups of two people will be divided into each four rooms. You will need to kill the hounds in each room to proceed. They initially have shields to be removed first. North room requires destruction. West requires ass need to be killed. South requires stagger and East requires number of hits. Additionally, turret mobs in each room require special mechanics. North requires you to kite the orb or it will do a map wide damage. West requires you to stagger or it will cast fear to everyone. South requires CC or your sight will reduce. East requires to be staggered to reset a damage over time debuff. After the hounds, each party will need to kill each bosses relatively at the same time and they will fuse. At 85 lines at the fuse boss phase, one person each will need to stand on the light platform times 3 of their party number, just like Argos phase 1. At 42 lines, boss will teleport to the center and start a series of counter checks. If you succeed 6 times, it will finish. Gate 2 Gate 2 requires one person in the party to go inside and face pro kill one on one. Everyone else will be fighting its head outside. If you exit or die the third time, the raid wipes. Outside mechanics is as follows. 135 lines. Boss will fire 3 slow orange projectiles along with 3 diamond shaped cards at 1, 6, 11 o'clock positions. 3 people will need to take these orbs to receive an orange marking under their feet. Taking multiple orange orbs will hurt you a lot. Getting hit by diamond shaped cards projectile twice will remove your orange marking. 3 people can stand near the diamond cards to remove them as well. 110 lines. 2 players will either receive red or purple pool indicator under their feet. These players can get hit by the purple orbs or stand near each other. All other players will need to get hit by the purple orb on purpose to know their colors, then group together with the same color pool. 80 lines. Boss needs to be staggered first, then the boss will create series of orbs at the plus position. Each orb needs either a number of hits, stagger, or damage, and dark laser. One player will be targeted by the dark laser. You can check it above your head. You'll need to aim this laser at the black orbs to destroy them. 45 lines. Boss will spawn red orbs around them. There are red orbs can be destroyed very easily to open them to get inside. Number of players can enter these orbs based on the green orb mark above them. If there are no green orb indicator, it means it's full and cannot be entered. 40 lines. Phantasm Knight will spawn and this makes the inside player's vision darken. You will need to kill this immediately. Procure fight has few special patterns, but complicated in general. I recommend to view the detailed guide or practice fighting in Trixian. Gate 3. At 145 lines, boss will be in the center and spawn series of meteors at plus and X positions. You will need to disable these meteors with series of quick time events or cleanse from party mates. Afterwards, you can stagger the boss. At 100 lines, you will need to stagger the boss while looking or not looking at the Medusa eye. Cat eye means don't look, regular circle eye means look. At 42 lines, she'll spawn series of 9 stars, cubes, and diamond shapes. She will also glow red, blue, or yellow at the beginning of the mechanic. Out of 3 blue, red, and yellow star shapes, 2 players will need to delete 3 star shapes each that is not the boss's color. For example, if the boss glows red, one player will need to destroy 3 blue stars and other player will need to destroy 3 yellow stars. Remaining other 3 players will need to destroy 3 cubes each. Last 3 players will need to destroy 3 diamonds each. When done correctly, diamonds need to stay away from each other and squares group up. Make sure to predetermine your positions before the fight to not get confused. At 0 lines, she'll spawn blue sights at plus, red sights at X position. You'll need to stand on top of this to receive a buff on top of your head. You'll then need to stand on top of the correct color platforms created afterwards. Doing this 6 times will succeed the mechanic. Failing will cause an explosion and heal back the boss. Gate 4. White mechanics start at 170, 120, and 55 lines. White mechanics are determined by the cube's color during the white mechanic phase. Red white mechanic requires one person to enter the yellow dome shield to trigger the stagger check. After a successful stagger check, boss will spawn two triangular shaped buffs. Two players will need to take them and go inside the yellow dome shield to trigger another stagger check. You'll need to do this two times. Blue white mechanic will spawn cubes near the color pillars. Staggering these cubes will provide shields to two players. Yellow will spawn spheres at green and blue pillars. Destroying the spheres will provide a yellow shield to the nearest player. The sphere will also spawn a yellow orb that will fly towards the boss. This orb will need to be intercepted by another player. Intercept them in the front of the boss. If yellow orb is intercepted correctly, it will create a large yellow platform. You need to stand on top of this platform to deal bonus stagger. If more than two players stand on this platform, it will knock everyone else outside. 
Initial yellow shielded players will need to stand on the side purple turrets to block additional projectiles. There are also minute long stagger phases at 95 and 20 lines. With that, this concludes the simplified compact guide for the Legion Raid Broshaza. If you're curious about the details, feel free to tune into the detailed Legion Raid guide series. As always, thank you everyone. Bye!